the table is laid out spinach side sweet pepper parsley and celery on the other side you will find some other things but we're going to deal with what we have on the table before we move on to the other side remember you're getting a preservation crash course so we're going to have skills and theory at the same time first question how do we preserve spinach is it First of all, you must have run in water. You must have run in water. So you wash your spinach properly. There's grit and grit on the spinach leaves. And if there's insecticides sprayed if you want to wash it out also. So you wash your spinach thoroughly under running water. Take every leaf section by section. Dry shake a little. You bring it to your table. On some absorbing paper for that may help to absorb the water, or you may use a clean towel. Take the leaves out from the stem. The problem is usually cut. You could use a food processor and process the spinach, which would be um, much quicker, or you could use something like that, a chopping board, and you could chop it very small. Um, you could chop your spinach depending on what you want to use it for. If you want, probably you want to use it for a soup, you can probably do it as fine as you need to. But if you want, probably you want to preserve it, maybe to cook in rice or something like that, and you want to do it a little bit. So depending on what you want to use it for, you cut it that way. Like that. What I usually do is I freeze it flat like that. So in the event that I don't need to use it all one time, what I usually do is when I take it out of the freezer, if I need a piece, I just break it and I use the portion I need and the other portion I need back in the freezer. So We have from our pumpkin, we should not remove the skin 
because that is the skill that we will get our vitamins A and C and D. We have the fruits of our session this afternoon. We have our pumpkin now. You know that you can have your pumpkin processed and stored till, of course, you require you require it. Your parsley, celery, scythe, your seasoning pepper, your parsley, scythe. Um, we want to say that our spinach which is so very important to our diet. As it has been indicated here, you have been shown the different ways of having your vegetables processed and of course cutting back on your cooking time. We want to say how very grateful we are to Drinan for having been able to come here this afternoon to help the rest of the community who were not here to have an idea as to what can be done as far as the processing of the vegetables is concerned. And especially for those people who have the difficulty when they produce vegetables and they find that the vegetables spoil very quickly. Here is the indication again that this processing that you have seen can help you to have your vegetables stored for a very long time and to have them used just as if you had bought them in the market on Saturday. Thank you very much. I want to say on behalf of the members of the parish response team and the Family Life Commission of the Catholic Church a very grateful a very big thanks to Trinon and the many persons who came here this afternoon in having the session and the success that it has been. But what is important for us is that it has been a success and I am sure that when we see it on inside Kossi, when called upon again, we will be able to make our mark by coming. Thank you very much, Junior, and God bless you.